of the goodness of Jesus.
these are the commandment, commandments, the status, and the judgment which the Lord your God commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land where you go to possess it. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all of his statutes and his commandments, that the commandment be thou and thy sons, and thy sons, sons, all of them thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that you may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy father had promised thee in the land that flows with milk and honey, church. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might, church. And then these words, which I command thee this day, it shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by thy way, and when thou lies down, and when thou risest up. Church. Train up the child in the way he should and when he is old, he will not far from him. When I call to remembrance the unified faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in the grandmother loves, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also all. Thank you. Thank you. 
who give you advice. The other name is said again, neighbor, neighbor. watch, watch. Who, give who give you advice. advice. Amen. Amen. Bless you, may peace. This word of God, this one came after long deliberation. I found out that when I put my mind on the Lord, he would give me something to tell the people. Whether that they want to hear it or not, in front of the Lord. David here dealing with the righteous man versus the unrighteous man. Receiving advice from those that are worthy and receiving advice from those that are saints. Sometimes we find ourselves in a difficult situation because we have to listen to the wrong people. And let me say that to y'all. Jeff called in the church on that said to me that their counsel is wise. I uh, wonder that some of the big liars in the woods in the church. Help me somebody. If you ain't careful, see, you got to walk the Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. Can you hear me? Just because they in the church on that said to me they got good fruit. But sometimes you can sit in the church and drink more liquor than the man out in the corner. Help me somebody. Tell more lies than the man on the block. So guess what? You got to watch who you receive advice from. So everybody don't care about nobody. Can you hear me? Some folks just want to see what they get riled up in you sometimes. But the Bible says, listen to what it says, verse number one. Blessed. That's another shout about right there. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the who? Sometimes you got to watch and give you advice because that's what people say. Yeah, honey child, if I you, I'll lead that man. Time you lead that man, they got it. I hear folks on Facebook all the time. I got the unit tree right when you have. You got to watch who give you advice. Honey child, you work all week long. You need to go out and get you some liquor, drink, and party, and make yourself happy. Watch who you listen to who give you counsel. For everybody ain't got your welfare. Get a get a witness this morning. They said in the word, you must say, Bless you. It's the man. Sometimes when you listen to what ungodly folks say, man, they make you climb a tree or write a check that you just can't catch. <laughs> Y'all got my view. <laughs> ungodly folks will tell you some of anything. And brother, I mean, they expect you to do it. They don't give you suggestions, they give you ultimatum. Brothers, I told you what you ought to do. Listen, when ungodly folks tell you how to run your back, you say, brother, I'll take your advice later. Matter of fact, if you if you ain't bad, how you gonna tell me how to keep a wife and you couldn't keep yours? Help me somebody. You better watch who give you a body. Because the Bible says, blessing. That's a blessing for a man that don't listen to everybody that come your way. Because there are some people again that don't care nothing about you or your situation. Amen. Look at what it says. No stay in the way of sin. I want y'all to hear this scripture. The sinner can't get a night look on too many of y'all standing in the way. <laughs> and then I don't write this Bible. I can't even get in the night look on here you just standing there doing it. Pick at your hair, pick at your look, pick at your wife, 
Anything we can pick at, we pick at. Because we stay in the seat of the storm. Can we all just get some good religion? And why don't we grow up while we got a chance to grow up? If you say you're a man or woman of God, why don't you act like you're a man or woman of God? The Bible says you ought not sit in the seat of the storm. But your delight, when you really been born again, when you know you've been baptized and born again, but number two say your delight is in the law of the Lord. You love the word of God. You come to church because you want to receive a word from God. You don't come to church there to hear the word and see what the priest say you didn't like. Because sometimes you come to church and a whole family minutes son of the law of God, you found something that you didn't like. I didn't like when he said that. Your delight is in the law of the Lord. Whatever God say, you love it. Whether or not they hit you or not, you love the word of God. Because guess what? The Bible is like the word is like a two-edged sword cut to the marrow of the bone. Sometimes it cut you when you're right and it cut the same person when you're wrong. It cut going from to and from. Guess what? The same word that cut you come back in the pool and it cut up to. Because we've been putting it hold on my life here. But something about it, I love the word of God. I understand that if, if you tell me the word, God will allow me to get better than that time around. Can you hear me? The Bible says a fool man look at his condition. Uh -huh. Look at the mirror at your condition. Go right on and do the same thing over and over again. But guess what? You need to learn to have your delight in the law of the Lord. Because if you love God, why can't we all just get on board with the Lord? And we hate on each other. Come to church to hear what you can hear. Go and talk all we know. I show you life when he says Sunday morning. Because he's there picking at me. When you love the Lord, Stand by the water and you let the water 
water in your root. Yeah, yeah. If the water, which is the word of God, if the water in your root, yeah. then you all grow. Yeah. If, yeah. if you don't let the water get to your root, it all within the soil. And the soil is the word of God, the, the people. Because if you get out there, them, they them for all the way to you, folk that church ain't no good. Yeah. And Tyler said, folk that church ain't no good, what they say? They sure ain't, honey. But they get what you was at church. <laughs> if the folk that church ain't no good and you was at church yeah. and you agree with the folk that you tell the folk you ain't no good. Yeah, that's right. Help me somebody. Amen. 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 And you might say ain't no good, but I ain't gonna say ain't no good. Tell me.
Come by to take them on to you all and try to serve the Lord. Because yeah. God be good to you and God be good to me too. Can I get a witness this morning? Again, I'd like to say to y'all again, bless the little man. They walk not in the count of love, thou God. Yeah. Nor sit in the seat of the sorrow. Nor stand in the way of the sinners. But in the light is in the law of the Lord. We have been to take both night and day. Yeah. I came by to tell y'all this morning that God be good to you. And God be good to me also. And I want y'all to know one more time. We're going to hold on. To God going to change his hand. If I hold on, I find that everything will be all right. I said again. Everyone. 